What is up guys, welcome to a, uh, another episode of Fully Modded. Uh, we are actually in the Vapid Sand King XL. I told you this last episode that we are doing this. Um, he's a bit smashed up. <laughs> From the last episode, if you remember the last episode, I was parked outside, got the RPG. I literally hopped in my garage, picked up this. Like I said, I had the next car waiting. And still had police on me and I had to get rid of, get rid of them. And this is not very, not very maneuverable. Um, for getting away from the police and stuff um, so yeah I, I literally got a bit smashed up and the colors ain't too great I mean orange and red this is what it came in when it uh, got delivered to the garage but um, front wheel looks demented yeah, I think it is um, we're gonna take this in and do it I'll uh, give you a little description of it quick the Sand King appears to be a variant of the Rancho with customization similar to a bowler wildcat in all of its appearances the Sand King is depicted with myriad modifications commonly associated with other customized off-road vehicles such as the Dune, Bandito and BF Injection. Sand King boasts large MMT branded off-road wheels, a large boiler, several air scoop, blah 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 and that's probably not even the description of the right one. These are on wiki and uh, it says the Vapid Sand King is an off-road vehicle first introduced in Vice City, San Andreas, blah 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 Appears to be a two-door compact, considering it has four doors. We we won't go off that description because it's not very accurate. Um, but we're going to repair it. Armor, twelve thousand five hundred. Quite expensive for this one, so a hundred percent. And uh, there's actually seventeen mods before we carry on. Before I forgot to say, uh, brakes, race brakes, bumper, uh, chrome tow hooks, chrome skid plates and ball bars, painted skid plate. And painted skid plate and ball bars. I think we'll probably go painted skid plate and ball bars. Um, chassis, chrome roll bar, painted roll bar, painted double roll bar, or the bed cab. Bed cap. Surely that should be cab. We'll go with a painted double roll bar. I just think it look, looks a little bit better. It is better as a pickup and not with a big extension. Um, level 4 engine fuel tank chrome fuel tanks or black ex black extended fuel tanks um, we'll go with the chrome just because it's different um, chrome grill or black grill we'll go with black just because it sort of matches the lighting area we'll go with truck horn it's got to be done xeon lights uh, plate we'll go yellow on black respray primary color so we actually need to see this um, I'm going to go with the colours that I use online for my one. Um, ultra blue, because I think it just looks absolutely the tits. So when we find the, the ultra blue, there we go. And uh, we'll do it with a secondary colour as well. Saying that, dark blue and ultra blue looks kind of cool. Marina blue. Uh, now nah, we'll just go ultra blue on the whole thing. Uh, what else we got? Roof, uh, like a little sunshade thing. That looks quite cool. Uh, suspension, low because it is quite high as it is. And I fucked up there. <laughs> I pushed circle to go back. We need to go back in and finish it. We're not quite finished yet, but it is looking, it is looking really good already. Probably one of my favourite cars to mod in the game, to be honest. Uh, you just do so much to it. It still feels really slow and sluggish, though. Alright, let me in. Hopefully I don't have to pay for any repairs. Alright, when we get back to where we were. We was on the roof. Yep. Suspension. we done suspension. Transmission. Race transmission. Turbo, turbo tuning. Wheels, wheel type. Um... I don't know, they, they kind of look cool. I don't know whether it's good to stick with uh, off-road tyres, just because, you know, it is just that sort of car. Let's see what SUV have got, because they do some good wheels. See, they look quite... Yeah, we'll go with Cosmo. And... Um, See, see if we can get some dark blue rims on it just to look a little bit better instead of going with black rims all the time because we tend to use black rims quite a lot we 
midnight purple or yeah we'll go with a midnight blue on these um, custom tires bulletproof blue tire smoke uh, windows we'll go fully blacked out and uh, there we have it so they are all the mods it's actually getting night time as well so I'm not going to get a great a great picture um, but there is the vapid sand king and it looks so good Probably one of my favourite cars. They actually have this online, pretty much similar to this, this sort of colour. But there it is. Um, I think it looks a lot better without the without the cap, not the cab, the cap. Um, but yeah, there it is, the Vapid Sand King, Vapid Sand King XL. I think there's two versions. There's one that isn't an XL. It does accelerate quite quick, um, but the handling's not amazing on it. It's literally like turning a bus. Um, but we'll get on some straights, do some bends in it, and get knocked. Maybe smash some people up because it is quite good for that sort of thing. Um, because you can actually drive over cars if you hit them right. Um, not stuff like that. More, more lower cars. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll get some speed out of it first, and we'll we'll fuck about with it. But yeah, if you came across this video, want to check out some more. Um, all links are below and also you can smash over people with it as well um, all links are below um, to all previous cars that have been modded so you can check them out if you want to um, and uh, it's only tradition that it, at the end of each episode we blow it up um, I'm not sure how we're going to do this one yet um, i got quite a good idea but we'll, we'll see how it goes I'm going to find try and find some low cars like that one was not not drivable over We'll try it with this little weenie. Because I'm sure you can. I think you have to hit it at speed. Alright, there we go. We're actually up on the car. I think I hit if I hit it with a wheel, I should actually get up on it. There we go. So you can actually drive over cars with this, especially if you're going at speed as well. You literally will just like that. Lift over cars, so it is pretty good. We're gonna leave this one here and uh, hopefully my plan will work. how many you can actually drop in the back you can use like five at a time maybe not you'd be very very worried if you um parked your car somewhere and came back to this <laughs> we will blow it up. All right, maximum of twenty active sticky bombs. There's a lot of beeping. Suppose we could just take it for a little drive as well. <laughs> Let's find someone who I, I I feel needs to die. Someone in a really bad looking car. I have a plan. Park right there. Sorry, mate. I, ju I just got a flat tire. Shit. <laughs> well, there goes my car. Literally lifted off. It's like it's like it wasn't even there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, add it to your favourites, all that good stuff, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.